guys, it's me, JK Drawing, and today I'll be showing you how to use Alice Paint X, which is like what I use. So we have all of these um, different types of tools you can use. So let's just get started. So first of all, the brush, the easiest thing to use. Let me just get a different layer. Um, all you gotta do is like swipe your little finger or something else on it. There's a whole bunch of brushes. So yeah. You also have to like watch an ad if you want to get all of them for free. You got this one right here, which is like cold hair gloss. I'm gonna make it darker so I can see it. So yeah. And then what's next? Yeah. So I'm just gonna look all these colors and then I made these these colors by myself, so you're not gonna have the same ones. But like that's the color palette. And you can use the colors on the brush. You just gotta press one. It's there. Who wants a different demonstrations? <laughs> and uh, yeah. So I'm just like drawing a bunch of lines. And this is opacity, by the way. I was just showing you how you can. Opacity is on the right, the bottom right. And then uh, how you can make it bigger on the bottom left. So you can see all the like opacities here um, on these colors. So it's like a big demonstration right there. Um, and those little plus signs on the bottom, like make it larger and smaller, and it's, you know. And then there's like erase, and we have so many ways to erase stuff. Yeah, you can like watch an ad, but I'm not gonna do an ad right now. This is a video. Oh, this is a back. Um, you can use it to erase. I have a like airbrush sort of eraser so that's what i'm using and you can also use the opacity thing so like barely um erases it and yeah with that button you don't see it though like on the bottom it, it like, switches from eraser to um a pen so yeah the, those are the ways you can see it. yeah i thought i was showing you it but it turns out i wasn't Here's a smudge tool. You can like make it super smudgy if you make the opacity bigger or not so smudgy. So yeah, these are all the different types of pens you can use. <laughs> Anyways, here's board. I use it on my back, on my like backgrounds for my thumbnails. Um, the bigger it gets, the uh, more you can see. Like it starts, you can barely see that it's like gone, like watercolor. <laughs> Um, and here are like the special tools. You have drag right there. Then we have string, which makes it smaller. And expand, which makes it bigger. And smoothen. So like, let me just do that real second. And then you can see like how it makes it sort of smoother. And then revert, which takes it back. Very cool, eh? <laughs> uh, and that's how you can make the, the brush bigger, you know, nice and big and smaller. So, yeah, and then right there, you can make the strings. For some reason, though, it, like, it was acting weird, and it really you take the strings. So, yeah. It's like, yeah, it was just at 26, and now it's at 100. And I don't really know what this does. I'm still, like, kind of learning how to use Ibis Paint. Like, I got it some time ago, but, like, I'm still worried. And now, I'm erasing that real quick so we can have more demonstrations. So, let's just get, like... A black color and then make a little stick man dude yeah make, make him look nice and nice and long <laughs> and then here's the bucket tool you just pick a random color and then bam it's right there bam and then if you go into smart spaces you can even get it there yeah that's amazing right amazing and you could with that you can also erase it so like you see that arrow if you just like if the arrow is pointing directly at that little color you see it there then it'll be gone cool eh i keep on saying that <laughs> and then next is text like it's saying hey, well how do you do so you can make it bigger smaller what the it has the same little plus signs and all the fonts here's all the fonts those are just my favorites yeah, we'll have some sort of mermaid font or whatever that is. You can even add like, a little background. I just made it black so you can actually see it. <laughs> and you can make it smaller and have and um, bigger, but also like it could be there could be no background. And then here's like I don't know exactly what that is, but 
yeah, it's just a sample right there. You can make it the spacing. Yeah, make it super squished together and get no space like me. Um, and yeah, you could also the order. I don't know what that does. So you could also put my horizontally, which is weird. Why would someone do that? <laughs> okay, and then this is like how you can use. You can make comics, like web comics in here. So you can make the frame super thin, super thick, and then choose the color. Let's give it black, the simple black. And then you can add frames. Oh yes, that's amazing. And now I'm about to add all the flames and make it super big. <laughs> takes me straight to the brush tool and this here you can make the this canvas smaller but i'm not gonna be doing that for video purposes <laughs> um you can make make it grayscale black and white and then, and then what's doing right now yeah i'm clipping it horizontally i know some people do that because they're like professionals in some way because i think professionals do that but some artists can do that too um and then what's next what's next what's next um making a circle another example let's name this guy um roderick roderick the toad and he's not in the best mood right now so let's fix that up and maybe give him make him give him some buddies maybe even yeah i don't know what those things are do with there but that's perspective form you guys goes like side to side up and down zoom in zoom out and like rotate it and then i don't know what that does yeah what does that do and then don't know what that does either oh that gets rid of the box right there and then that way you could do a peep like that if i just press that button and then boom you see that now he has buddies he's not alone <laughs> yay you see him he's nice and happy now you can also move him around with your finger because that's what i was doing and then rotate him with the little rotate thing on the top and then you can get rid of the selection with that little like square on the bottom you could also like select that for some reason i don't know exactly what that is because i've never used it before <laughs> and yeah like what did i do okay so things started to get a little confusing here because these are things i've never used before because i don't know when they'll ever be needed you see that this is the thing where like i was doing in the last this video like i make that circle and now all i could do is draw in that circle but nowhere else you see that <laughs> and then when i get rid of that circle it's gone you can draw everywhere else now sweet huh and then here like, you can move it and let me try to get that back in the right to exact placement i think i'm going to where it's now for some reason okay and what am I doing now? Get the layers and have all those layers. You could delete that layer, but let's get that back, that layer back for a second. Or did I just do it permanently? Um, what am I doing now? Oh, I have another test subject. Let's name him Freddy. No, Rebecca. Yeah, that's that dude is Ted. And um, I'm gonna do a clipping master and coloring him, which coloring him in with the color black. Yes, yes, yes. And then, when you go, you see, you can see clipping on the bottom right there. So, I go create another layer. And then, I'm just going to get a different color other than black. And bam. Like, I can't even draw anywhere else, but it shows right there. Like, And I can make the opacity be darker. You nice know, and magenta color. And, see? Yeah, that's like the opacity right there. So, you can make the layer opacity. Maybe I should do a part two. Yeah, never mind. Um... What am I doing now? 
can think of myself as you can flip the waves here easily rasterization i don't know what that means <laughs> um you could delete the layer but i'm gonna get that layer back or you can unvert it and make it white so that's why it disappears and that now you can move the entire layer you can clear the layer squawk the opacity which is like make the layer a different color only, only that layer too rename layer and i'm gonna name it how to use ibis paint x because that's what you're doing we're learning how to use ibis paint yet x and then i don't know how to do that i don't know how to do alpha walk walk um yeah walk and then a creating you could add you could duplicate that layer right there you, like, you saw that happen do with that and then i could import a picture and bam that's a, just a random picture i took for some reason mm -hmm. don't know what that is um and let's just get rid of that because i don't need it at all <laughs> and what's next you see that thing right there I, I can move it all around not really because i just yeah you can't really move it all around and then we go to this here reference window and it's there you can also like import a reference so yeah and now the reference is right there and you can switch to both modes like that and you can see what you're drawing right there and grid i don't know what grid is like what's grid settings well i'm confused and then manga manuscript for those who pixelated and you see it, there's a grid right there there's the grid right there there it is and then like i see you see pixels and then when i turn it just move it's smooth i honestly kind of like pixels for a second but i always see that on my art and i don't like it when i see it on my art so it's move change it back to smooth <laughs> and so yeah and now here's this let me i'm about to get a certain thing i think and get that layer okay this is where things get a little bit confusing so i could dip, duplicate this um and then i could like there's perspective form because i didn't go over that and you can make it like literally like a perspective and here's what repeat it's a very weird thing for like repeat while you have like perspective form on that's a very weird process like i'm over here playing with it like how do i make this make sense <laughs> And then we have mesh form, which is like, you can mesh it and do some sort of form. And it's very crazy and weird. And you can add more, so it's like more detail -y and weird. Because I don't know, I don't use that as much. <laughs> um, and then now, like I get clear layer like that. And then only draw on that layer, so it only goes like that, you see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where things actually start getting confusing. Because you see, like... I don't, for some reason i can't like so i draw on everything but that yes no very interesting things and then yeah i was having some trouble and here's stabilization so i was having some trouble like, you can see right there and then i realized that you can't see it because it's like that and you can't still can't see it so i'm going i have a, i'm redoing things for a second and then like brush stroke yeah i'm doing it and then there you see that that's stabilization so it's like that and then i'm gonna play with this that's like that's the difference right there and then i'm gonna turn force rate out and like that and then look at this get ready for it boom baby i gotta start doing that as my line art it's so beautiful oh my goodness look at that and I'm gonna find a tool I never knew existed. You see that? Like, look at that. I didn't, had, like, I saw this in the video, but I did not knew. I had, I, 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 I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I did not know. It just, that's just, this just how that happened. And then we have rulers here. We, like, we got this one, which is, I don't use at all, ever. <laughs> and then here, gotta get out of that layer but like you draw one on one one thing on one side and it comes out on the other two so yeah i'm going to have this which is very fun i was playing with it for a second <laughs> which is like i don't know what you call it but it's very cool that's one thing for sure and then yeah you can see me having fun trying to be cool about it 
making sure it doesn't look like a sloppery mess. And then, yikes. So, so yeah. And then here's a more one that's more chill and cool. So yeah. So yeah, I've seen that a lot right now. You see this? That's cool, yo. And just adding a little design that looks nice. And here's a ruler I have never used before, and I probably will never because it looks cool and it looks like it will work, but I don't. I just can't figure out how to use it. Okay, that's like it. it's perspective, and I don't. I don't. I, it just doesn't click. It doesn't click. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what's next? Oh, here's the image library. It's very cool. We, like, have all these images, like, trace sketches. I used them a lot when I was a beginner. Um, using Imus Paint. We got other ones, but we got Chibi one here. This is, like, a gauze or retail one. And then we have background tones. Color. We got this one. This inspired me for something. And now I kind of want to draw something Christmas themed. <laughs> you never heard me say that, okay? And... Here are like my favorites that I like, and then history, all the ones that I have used. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. And then, what's next? What's next? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna show you my very first drawing. Get ready for it. Are you ready? Bam! You see, what well, that's just progress. You see, so I'm gonna show you. I was just playing around with brushes and like templates and stuff, and then I colored something with it. So you see, I had I had a this was like an ugly stage because I was proud of it, but it's honestly not that good. So you see, I created August 14th, 2023, and then August and then finished it like August 13th, 2022. So basically, went to school. So this, you see that progress? Okay. Thank you. Okay. See, look at that progress. Remember, keep on going. You'll be like me someday. Not really. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Make sure to share and put your notifications on. I'll see you guys next time.